bionic suit to help people with spinal injuries walk again was once the preserve of science fiction, but it could yet become a reality. A number of machines already being developed, including a pair of robotic trousers dreamt up by an Israeli engineer who became paralysed after an accident. Our science correspondent Tom Clark went to meet the man who says the invention has transformed his life. Radi Kalf was paralysed from the waist down, fighting in the Lebanon with the Israeli army. Since 1988, he's used a wheelchair to get around, but two years ago, he was the first man to use rewalk. Its makers call it a bionic exoskeleton. To Radi, it's the power to get up and walk. <laughs> Using rewalk, Radi tells me he's eye to eye with everyone else. I feel normal, you know. I stand and uh, I feel tall. It's, uh, it's fantastic for me. A tilt sensor controls each step. Motors in the legs do the work his muscles once did. Power for the device comes from this backpack battery lasting eight hours. A remote control on Raddy's wrist switches the device from standing to walking mode. Another setting allows the user to climb stairs. We can rebuild him. We have the technology. Overcoming human frailty with technology isn't new to science fiction. Robotics fixed the six million dollar man and gave him superhuman powers. Iron Man created his own bomb-proof exoskeleton. Now bionics are slowly becoming reality. The US military is funding this wearable skeleton, allegedly to improve strength and stamina in war. It's also trialling a device similar to Rewalk to help soldiers paralysed because of it. But Rewalk will be the first commercially available walking device. It's on display here at Nadex, the UK's largest assisted living show. So what do potential customers make of it? My initial reaction is that it's a wonderful invention and the fact that it allows people to get up and walk. A couple of issues is the length of time to actually put the uh, Rewalk on and take it off. It sometimes would not make it practical for a quick dash to the, uh, to the local shop or something like that. You'll end up still using your wheelchair. There are other limitations. Those paralysed from the shoulders down couldn't use the device. And then there's the cost. This version, aimed at spinal injury clinics, is around £90,000. A domestic version is on its way, but still costs 40000 The average person who's on benefits, as a lot of our spinal injury members are, um, no, they wouldn't be able to afford that. The only way they would be able to use that is if there was a hospital or a centre or somewhere that had one and they could go and use it. No expensive for a man. But Radi Coif tells me for him, price isn't an issue when it comes to walking again. You know, it's for me, it's a dream. Rewalk should be available in the UK at the end of this year. Tom Clark, Channel 4 News in Birmingham.